Hi and welcome back to Step by Step. If you never thought I was crazy, you might decide I am today. My husband and I were cooking out last night and I looked over and something caught my eye and this was at my neighbor's garbage. <laughs> it's an old planter box that was totally falling apart. So of course I asked for it and they were more than happy to give it to me because the garbage man didn't even want it. So most of the bottom was missing. Um, so I had to remove the other portion the screws were really rusty and didn't want to come out a few of them <laughs> others would just yeah, fall out so <laughs> it was really crumbly so i work on getting this bottom board out and the, no, today's project bad. is just I'm such just a simple step-by-step step. it's a real easy right. thing um don't always have to paint furniture every week so sometimes i like to give it's you a, a little thing. um idea of something you can do uh for around the house so I'm pulling out all of the tools and trying to pry this one piece of wood. Isn't it funny? Everything else is falling apart and that one section doesn't want to go anywhere. So I'm going to try to take advantage of the rotted wood and just pull on it. I'll win this battle. There we go. So we have it pulled apart and of course the rest of it kind of starts to fall apart and I'm going to start to uh, put it back together. I'm going to use some screws in the side to get it uh, to start it on its road to recovery. So I think my neighbor thought I was a little crazy. My husband already knows I'm crazy. So, you know, I just like to show the picture when it's all done. And there's a little spider. <laughs> so we got him and you know, no big deal. We're just gonna finish cleaning up our workspace now and get rid of any other indications of spiders. Still trying to get rid of the old nails, a few of them, um, screws actually, but the wood's so soft I'm able to treat it like a nail and use the claw hammer to get rid of that one. So now I start cleaning with white lightning. This is Dixie Belle product and it comes in powder form and I mix it up and put it in a spray bottle. As you can see, it's a little gross, but it won't be for long. We're going to make it all better. I just love those little scallops. I just fell in love with it, so I had to have it. Someone took a lot of time one day and cut all those little scallops out, so I don't want that person's work to go to waste. 
So I clean it inside and out because I'm going to be painting inside and out because this wood's so old we have to get some paint on there just so it'll last another I don't know 50 years. <sighs> So I also follow up the white lightning with water. So I'm now I'm spraying it with water and um, getting rid of that so that the paint adheres. Now a few more screws. This thing's going to be solid. And now it's time to put the bottom on. So I had this welcome sign that I wasn't crazy about. I never finished it. It was actually the perfect size. I really wasn't feeling like pulling the saw out today anyway. So I was really happy that this was just the right fit. So I'm... Um, screwing it in the bottom but here I have a little trouble it doesn't want to stay and I'm not realizing that the bottom is missing in that part uh, we're missing a board so we'll keep after it and we'll get it right you'll laugh at my solution so I take care of the one side that has an actual straight board and get that all shored up Hmm, what to do? I have an idea. Jenga blocks. <laughs> I use these a lot for spacers. They're just perfect. Doesn't look great right here, and you'll probably think I'm crazy. Well, we covered that already. Um, but it is going to make a difference. Um, so I put that in, and I drill first so that I don't split the wood. Ha <laughs> ha. Any more than it is already. Um, and I dropped my drill bit, of course. But we're going to go ahead and put that in there. Now, I won't have to drill any holes in the bottom of this planter because we already have plenty of holes. Now, obviously, this is going to be not meant to hold dirt. You would put plants in here that already are in pots. Um, and when I show you at the end when it's staged, I actually have it staged with dried flowers. So you could do either or, but um, again, you would still, you know, we'll st we would still need re uh, draining regardless. So um, the fact that it has those holes in it is a good thing. So we would drill. If it were perfectly square, we would drill holes in the bottom for drainage. I know it doesn't look even, but that's okay. We're going for rustic here. Um, just something to throw some plants in, not a squared piece of furniture or anything. Hang tight. The fun part's going to begin any minute. Unless, of course, you like to build. And you can appreciate my crazy uh, DIY repair jobs. Kind of like Frank Sinatra. I do it my way. Okay, so we have our holes for drainage, and we're ready to paint. And I'm using Dixie Belle's Rusty Nail, and I'm not worrying about complete coverage. I am just putting a coat of paint on this um, just to give it some new life. And if you love these products I'm using today, I will have an affiliate link in my description box and you can purchase Dixie Bell products from, you, you purchase directly from Dixie Bell, but it does help my small business because I get a little kickback. 
So if you'd use that link, that would be awesome. Looking better already, don't you think? So now I've been dying to use this stencil. This is Dixie Belle's new mud cloth stencil. I think it's going to give this a little bit of a boho vibe. And I am thinking fall, so that's why I selected uh, the rusty nail. And now I'm going to be using burlap to complete the stencil. I'm not using any tape to hold this down. It doesn't have to be perfect. And again, I'm using Dixie Belle's burlap. I'm just using a stencil brush. I uh, offload a little bit of the paint, but I keep a good bit of it on since the wood is so dry. And also the fact that it's an all over stencil and we have a really rustic look going on. I'm not even going for complete coverage because I think it'll kind of lend itself to that old rustic look and kind of a um, distressed looking stencil. So now I move it over and I'm able to match it up so that the design just continues. And now I'm going to use Dixie Belle's decoupage paper in the feathers design. And I'm cutting out some of the feathers. First I cut kind of roughly around and then I get in a little bit closer to the edge of the feathers. Usually the paper ends up being a little bit translucent. Um, generally if you're painting on white um, that'll kind of disappear. But in this case, you probably want to get rid of as much as you can. I actually wish I had gotten rid of a little bit more. But again, we always find a solution. 
There's no accidents, right? I say that every week. Okay, so we have that arranged and we're gonna use Dixie Belle's clear coat in flat. My brush fell apart, so <laughs> I'm just using an old artist brush because I'm an old artist. And you just put the clear coat down and then you put the feather or the decoupage paper down and then you clear coat over top of it. So we did a little uh, sanding on that line where we got it a little bit heavy and that helped distress it a little bit too. So we put the feathers on and then we do a little clear coat all over the entire piece just to um, make it uniform. And now I'm using Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax in Brown and a La Petite brush. And I'm just going around the edges and also I'm doing around the edges of the decoupage. And I'm trying to um, lessen the line around the feather. This kind of works because it makes the line around the feather a little bit more like the burlap color. So it sort of blends in a little bit more, plus it uh, makes it look a little more rustic. We cleaned it up, now we're making it look a little dirty again, but it's just appropriate for this piece, I think. So I'm sure glad I looked over at my neighbors last night and saw something that caught my eye, because now it might be uh, something that makes someone else happy. And like I said, it might last another 50 years. And I'm just wiping back a little bit of that wax. So what do you think? I am loving it. And I put some dried florals in there from Peterman's Flower Shop. They have space in our store and I think it looks really nice. I also think it'll be pretty with little pots of mums in there too. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at levintagedecor.company and on Instagram we're levintagedecor and on Facebook we're levintagedecor altuna. Stay well.